Today is the day that we are going to put AC Milan so far back on the map that everyone is going to remember this great club for what they are. Growing up, I remember this team having Ronaldinho and having so many special players and being at the top of football, and now they're not talked about enough. Today, we are taking over AC Milan, but our money is unlimited. It is time to get this team to where they belong to be. AC Milan, vamos! Now, I don't want to go crazy, even though I got crazy amount of money. I want to just pick up maybe three, two, three players. I don't want to go too wild, but I want to make AC Milan great, man. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure to hit that big old thumbs up, subscribe, and turn your bell on. I appreciate you guys watching. AC Milan already have a pretty darn good team. They got Theo Hernandez and Tamore. They got Rafael Leao. They have so many special players, a lot of talent here, some young talent as well. But we are going to do AC Milan type things. And I'm going to bring in players that I think would really, really do well in Italy. So let's get into it. Now, I do think some type of 4-3-3 would work best for AC Milan. And I do really like Christian Pulisic, if I'm being honest with you. I think he's a very talented player. I also love Rafael Leao. I think he's a fantastic player as well. Like really, really good. But today, we're going to put greatness into this team. Let me show you my first signing. I know he's 31 years old. But ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be returning Mo Salah back to Italy. If you guys don't know, he played in Italy once upon a time. And with Klopp's exit at Liverpool, it seems like the era at Liverpool is kind of changing. So I am going to sit down with Klopp before he leaves Liverpool. And I am going to see if I can get Mo Salah over to AC Milan for 104 million. He comes back to me and says he wants 119. I'm gonna tell him, Klopp, you're leaving either way, bro, so why you tripping? I'll give you 110 for Mo Salah. He says 117. I'm gonna accept it. Mo Salah just seems like the perfect fit for what I'm trying to build for two reasons. First of all, uh, the in the city, I, I just feel like this is the type of player, like in Italy, bro, we've always seen players, even at, at, a, at an older age, do really, really, really well. Um, and I just feel like Mo Salah seems so much like an AC Milan type player. So I kind of want to bring him in and throw the 99 on his back and have like a dingo type days for my boy Mo Salah, man. He wants a three-year contract and I'm fully down with that. I don't want no release clause, so I'm fully cool with that. And um, yeah, I'm just going to offer him a lot, actually. I'm going to offer him uh, uh, 300 okay on his wages see if he accepts it no bonus just straight up 300 my boy mo salah is extremely happy with that he's gonna get paid here in the city I, and i am bringing big mo salah back to italy to end his career maybe three four years more he is gonna be the guy though that really helps ac milan get to the back back to the top of football man mo salah look at that boy man welcome back to italy Shout out to everything he did at Liverpool. What a player Big Mo Salah was at Liverpool. But he is officially here to do the thing at AC Milan. Now, you're probably wondering, what does that mean for Christian Pulisic? And honestly, I don't know what the future holds for Christian Pulisic. But I know 1 million percent, I am trying to build the best possible team we can to dominate Europe. So Mo Salah, welcome to the squad. I always enjoy when they give me a rating. Let's see what the rating that they give me a B. It's probably because he's 31. I paid a lot of money. They said it's a great price, to be honest. I mean, I did pay a lot of money. Um, but I'm extremely, extremely excited with that move, man. I think that's a big move uh, for AC Milan. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I don't regret. There's zero regret in me. Um, again, kind of feel bad for Christian Pulisic, but it's kind of the way life has to go. Now, I'm looking at this team and thinking to myself, you know what, lads? This team actually could go into a false nine formation right four three three with the false nine because rafael leao enjoys to play the false nine so i actually could make him a center forward which he likes to go into and then go out and pick up a different left winger this is a massive option for us this is something that we could do if we wanted to every single summer every single year there is conversation about this guy leaving man city Barca's has one of this guy for years if the rumors are right. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to sit down with Guardiola to discuss Bernardo Future Silver. Is it Ber Bernardo Bernardo's Future Silver. Bernardo Silver's future. I think this guy, and I know I'm a Benfica fan, so a lot of people are going to think I'm biased when I say this. I think this guy is one of the most talented players in football right now. He's only 28 years young. I'm going to offer 107. Probably overpaid here. Don't worry, though. We have a lot of money. 
and I'm going to get Bernardo Silva. Finally, the rumors are going to come to an end, and I'm going to get him out of Man City, and I'm bringing him to the Serie A, and I'm bringing him to AC Milan. Ladies and gentlemen, we are bringing in an absolute stud for the AC Milan team. The takeover is going insane. Whatever he wants, I'm giving him. By the way, his wages are already 300 at Man City. I'm going to offer him a five-year deal. He's going to come back with a three-year deal. I'll say, you know what? You can have yourself a nice little three-year deal. No problem. I'm going to accept no release clause because I don't want that. And his wages are coming down. He gets a lot of bonuses. I'm cool with it. If you score 25 goals, I will pay you, lad. Take the money, man. Big Bernardo Silva. Welcome to AC Milan. Welcome to Italia. Welcome, 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 welcome. We bring in Mo Salah. We bring in Bernardo Silva. I maybe want to go one more player. I don't want to go too crazy in January. If we have to buy another one, we can. But I do want to pick up one more player. So I'm going to pick up a striker, a left wing, or a center back. Who's it going to be? Bernardo Silva. Welcome to the team. I got to see what rating they give me, bro. Like I said, they ratings be kind of crazy sometimes. You better give me a good rating. I might have overpaid, I know, but I really wanted him at the squad. We are going to get only a B. O only a B. Yeah, they, they listen, you guys are acting like I'm not doing work right now. EA, what's the problem, man? Bernardo Silva, are you kidding me, bro? Are you joking right now? Look at the team we're putting together, bro. This team is crazy. Um, I am going to throw him uh, into here. We'll put him. Where do we want him? Uh, do we take it out? Uh, who we taking out? I don't even know who to take. Uh, uh, we'll take bang. Oh, that team is looking juicy, bro. Stop playing with me. That team is looking good, bro. Are we happy with this center back? Are we okay with this? Are we are we okay, lads? Are we okay with our center backs? Is that where we should splash a little bit of money? If I play just a regular 4-3-3 with a DM, the team works out perfectly. I'm not gonna lie to you. Are we happy? Is Giroud enough? Is Giroud enough? But where are you going to get a striker that's enough, right? Who's going to be your striker that is going to set you apart? And you're going to be like, yeah, that's the one. We already got Mo Salah. We already got Bernardo Silva. Who else could we go grab? Who's somebody we could bring in that will score a ton of goals for us? But not just that. It's got to be an AC Milan type striker, lads. This move is not one of those ones that a lot of people are going to go, well, that's a crazy awesome move. But there is a 25-year-old striker that plays in Portugal, and his name is Yucaras, and he plays for Sporting, and he was in the championship in England last season, and this guy is on a tear. If you've been paying attention to, to real-life football, you guys would know that he has been just slaying. I'm going to offer $55 million and instantly that's going to go through. He's only an 81 overall and 25 years young, um, but I'm going to tell y'all something, lads. 6'2", big guy, just a big body striker from Sweden, and it just, it just, it, for me, I think this is the move. I think this is an AC Milan type striker. I want him. I want to bring him in. I think he'll be important for us. I think he'll score a lot of goals. I hope I'm right with that. But ladies and gentlemen, we are bringing in a young, good striker that is going to be the guy that really puts AC Milan in the back of the net and on the map, bro. He's going to dominate. I got a feeling. Let me let me see my rating. Give me a good rating here, bro. Don't play with me. Give me a good rating. It's a great sign. Don't even tell me I'm overpaying. I don't care. Victor Yokaras, I think I said that right. A B again. They are trolling, bro. How is that a B signing, bro? He's 25 years young and he's a big boy striker, bro. I know, I know, listen, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know 100% that, um, that, uh, what's his face is a better striker or Giroud is a better overall, but I don't know, boys. I'm happy with this, man. Look at that. Our back line is nice. Our top is looking good. I like this. I think I'm going to stay with this until January. And then if we need to, we'll go out and get a center back. But I like what we've done with this team. We brought in Mo Salah. We already have Rafael Leao. We have Yucaras now. We have Bernardo Silva and, 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 and Loves Cheeks. And we got a good defensive mid. Tamore, again, we probably could use a center back. I'm okay at right back. I'm definitely okay at left back. Maybe we could have used the center back, but I like the team that we've put together here. If I got to make one more change, I'll make it in January. But in the meantime and in between time, I like what we've done. One thing I want you guys to know, important tactics, I'm going to do wing play. I think that's kind of, I, just, I like it. I think the wing play with Rafael Leao, Mo Salah makes a lot of sense. So we're definitely going to be in a wing playing type of system. So let it begin, man. Uh, we have two games in August, all right? Two games in August. 
And then in September, we see Roma, we see Newcastle, we see Inter Milan, we see a lot of big games. So I am going to see you guys all the way on October 1st, where we'll go back and look at how the first two months went of the Serie A and the beginning of the Champions League. Remember, the Champions League is the group of death. There's Newcastle, there is PSG, there is Dortmund, and there is... It. That's it. AC Milan, Newcastle, PSG, Dortmund. Yeah, that's the four teams. Man was looking for an extra team. What are we doing? From what I can see, it's been a magical start to the season. Dortmund wins one. Or they beat Dortmund 1-0, I should say. And then you go back a month where they beat Lazio. They tied to Newcastle. They beat Inter Milan and Roma. So based off this right now, undefeated season, no losses on their record yet. And then also, they picked up a 2-0 win twice to kick the season off. So they are officially undefeated in the City of I, and they haven't dropped one point in the City of I. Let's take a look quickly how great this season has started for AC Milan, bro. They are 7-0, not even a tie, with, four, with 18 goals for and only four goals against. The goal difference is 14. Napoli is right behind them, but they have one draw, so we got to keep our pedal to the metal because Napoli is going crazy. In the Champions League, they are also not top of the group as they tie to Newcastle, but in a position to be able to make it out of the group, which is lovely, lads. That's what you love to see. But who's getting the job done for us? Is it Yukaras? Is he the guy who went out and really is doing the business because that's what we brought him in for? Hopefully it is. Let's quickly find out, man. We'll go to stats. The most appearances goes to Mike. Goes to Theo, goes to Bernardo, and goes to Salah. And Yukaras also with nine. Let's check out the goals quickly. Top goal score, Mo Salah. Whoa, Mo Salah. Whoa. And then Rafael Leao. And then Victor Yukaras with four as well. And Bernardo Silva with two. Top assist guy goes to Mo Salah with four. Bernardo Silva with two. And Yukaras with two. So, lads. When we sit down and really talk about the team and look at the team, I would say that every signing we've made, top three, well, top four, or three of them are the signings that we've made, and then Rafael Leao. So I think we have, we stood on business, bro. We really did, bro. We brought in three players, and they are, are they all are contributing, contributing, contributing nasty. We love to see it. Let's see what's next on the year. What's next is the rest of October, where you see Juve, PSG, and also Napoli. That's Napoli's badge, right? Yeah, Napoli. And then you see PSG again. You see Dortmund again. You see Florentina. You see a lot of good teams. So, lads, I will see you at the end of November. It's two months to go. And we'll see how the boys are cooking. I'll see you there. I'm a little bit nervous. There's one game left in the Champions League. And because PSG... Uh, and AC Milan tied, and then AC Milan tied to Dortmund as well, it leaves us in a situation where the final game is between Dortmund and, New uh, excuse me, is between AC Milan and Newcastle and PSG and Dortmund. So if that game ends in a tie and we win, we'll jump one of those teams. If one of those teams loses and we win, We'll jump one of those teams. So whatever happens, we must win. And one of those teams either need to tie or lose. The work, I mean, that's just that's just how it goes. So pretty much we have a massive chance of going through in the Champions League. But I am worried because we have to win. In the Serie A, we finally did lose points. We tied two and we lost one. And our first tie came to Juve. I'll show you in a minute. We are still in first place. We are still cooking with 32 points after the month is done. But it all is because of Juve. The boys were have having a dream season as you guys can see going into the month of October that's when PSG beat us and that's when Juve beat us 3-1 as well but they beat us 3-1 but we bounced back and beat Napoli 1-0 then we go into the next month where Florentina tied. We tied three games this month, bro. Well, four if you if you count the Champions League. So that wasn't okay as well. And now we go into the month of December where it's a must-win game against Newcastle and then massive games in the City A as well. So before the transfer window deadline or before the transfer window opens back up, we need to really hope that AC Milan can continue to dominate and win a lot of games. So AC Milan really took care of business in the month of December. They beat Newcastle 4-1, but they tied a game that I feel like they shouldn't have tied, but you can't win them all. The thing is, they went undefeated, which is lovely. So at the end of December, what does it look like for the boys, man? Are the boys still in first place, or is Napoli having a wonder season? 
The boys are still in first place and the boys are cooking. That's awesome, man. That looks great. 45 points, 10 points clear now. And they should have made it out the Champions League. Let me let me make sure before I say that because I might sound dumb here. Um, did they make it out? Dormant came out. <gasps> eliminated. PSG got eliminated. PSG. Wait, are we out? Wait, where are we? Oh, we're playing Man City. That's stupid, bro. No way, dude. We're actually playing Man City, yo. That is so stupid. That's so dumb, bro. How do we get Man City in the round of 16, bro? That's dumb, bro. Wow, that's dumb. Um, Yo, I'm so annoyed. How do you get them so early, man? Nah, I'm so annoyed right now, bro. I really am, bro. That's annoying. 19 go- Mo Salah is going nuts! Rafael Leal with 11. And my boy Yukaras with 7. Bernardo Silva with 4. My boy Mo Salah is going dummy. 7 assists and 5 for Theo. Mo Salah with- Mo Salah on a Ballon d'Or type season, bro. That boy is going nuts, bro. He going bananas. I uh, love to see it. My boy Mo Salah has 6 appearances in the Champions League and 6 goals. <laughs> what am I seeing, bro? That's Yukaras has 0 goals in the Champions League, by the way. 0. What are we doing, bro? Wake up, man. Get it together, bro. I need you in the Champions League. Bernardo Silva, none of the Champions League. Wake up in the Champions League, lads. I need y'all. Anyways, lads, I don't think I'm going to touch the team because, honestly, I really don't want to say this like this because I don't want to be negative. Man City's going to eliminate us, bro. Man City's going to eliminate. Like, that's crazy. Man City 100% eliminates us. So I don't know if there's a point of wasting money on our defense or spending money on our defense when most likely we're going to get eliminated in the Champions League. I think all eyes have to be on the on the Serie A and winning the Serie A and bringing back AC Milan back to the top, the top of Italian football, right? I, I, I just, I think so, man. Guys, I have so many questions right now. Milan's manager is about to get sacked. And I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to understand why. We go back to the month of January. The man went undefeated. He also won a cup game, by the way. That right there was a cup game, which he won 3-1. Three, three, which means they played, they played hard games. And he won every match. But they're mad at the objectives of finish the season with a profit of 300. And come on, man. What are we doing, bro? You're mad at me because of profit when I got y'all that far ahead of the city I, I like what are we doing lads I, you are on the top of italian football with one loss this season and you're and the manager is at risk ea sports get it together bro well i guess we about to get fired when we lose the city i gotta have confidence in the boys but i don't bro i just the confidence is on an all-time low bro let's look at the team really quickly our center back is extremely upset i don't know why everybody else is loving life around here bro Maybe because this center back starting. I don't know. Let's put him in here. It'd probably be better. Uh, but everybody else is loving life. Yukaras is on a plus one. Everybody's chilling. Everyone's having a good time. Uh, left butt cheeks. Not really enjoying life that much right now, if I'm being honest. But everybody else is loving life, man. Everybody else having a good time. So I don't know what's going on with the boys. Maybe I shouldn't have touched the team, to be honest with you. I probably shouldn't have touched the team. They were cooking. Either way, the morale is amazing. Now we're going into the month of February. Um where we play Man City. <laughs> we tied against Man City. We tied against Man City. Wait, what? We tied against Man City. We tied Napoli and Man City back to back. Wait a minute, bro. Did we just build the greatest AC Milan team of all time? No, 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 no. Hey, we're getting eliminated. 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 I know we're getting eliminated. We're 100%. There's no way, bro. We're getting eliminated, bro. That we're getting AC Milan fans watching this right now are like, yo, have more faith in my team. I, I want to, bro. Trust me, I do. Mike getting the most playing time. So is Rafael Leao, Salah, Yukaras, all playing a lot of time. Okay. Top goal scorer, probably most likely still going to be Mo Salah. My boy has 27 goals. What am I seeing from Mo Salah, bro? And he also has seven in the Champions League now, which means he scored again against City. He, my man scored against City. Rafael Leao has 14. He scored two in the Champions League, which means I think he scored against City as well. I think. Yukara has still no goals in the champion in the Champions League. Theo Hernandez has one goal in the Champions League. Um, Yukara with 12. Rafael Leao with 14. Salah with 27. I think I'm okay with Rafael Lau being ahead of Yukaras, if I'm being honest with you, because Yukaras is getting involved on assists, which I like. 10 here, 7 right here. That's lovely. Uh, 6 right here, 4 right here, and Bernardo Silva and Yukaras both with 4, which I like that, if I'm being honest with you, lads. 
we play Man City again. You would not believe what I'm about to say to you. I, like, you will not believe it, bro. You will actually not believe what I'm about to say to you. Yes, the month started off absolutely disgustingly bad as we lose to Lazio 1-0. But then comes the 6th. The 6th of March against Man City where AC Milan says, hold up, wait a minute, don't go there because I ain't with it. Bang! And Man City's gone. And they still want to fire the manager. Don't ask me why. They still want to fire the manager. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, take a second to look at this. Semi-finals against Napoli in the Coppa Italia. Okay? Uh, that's huge. In the Serie A, 74 points, 13 points clear of Juve. Bada bing, bada boom, mamma mia. Absolutely lovely. You go to the Champions League, the champions. And ladies and gentlemen, AC Milan is going up against FC Barcelona. That's a tough game, bro. RB Galatasaray. What do we what, yo, 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 yo. If we can get by Barcelona, though, maybe, maybe there's a chance here. Round of 16. AC Milan, when I said they couldn't do it, 5-3, big man city, get him out of here. That's what happens when Bernardo Silva changes teams. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is getting absolutely 1 million percent juicy. This is what, who scored the goal against? I need to know. I need to know who scored, but who banged them in, bro? Who, who did it? This man, he did it again. He now has eight appearances. He scored again. Every Champions League game, he scored a goal. He scored against Man City. Rafael Leal bagged the one against, against Man City as well. Uh, Ryukara still hasn't scored. Oh, you better show up against Barcelona, bud. You better show up against Barcelona, bro. You better show up against Barcelona because they have a rojo, bro. Very tough game coming up. Lads, it's getting juicy now. We got to stop. Update, 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 update. Let's update the lads. Let's update the lads. Napoli. Get smacked out of the cup, which means AC Milan go into the final. Then back in the league, 2 0, another win in the Serie A. We then play Barcelona and we tie 1 1. But this is good because it's the same way we got rid of Man City. This is the same way we got rid of Man City. So everybody buckle up your seatbelts. We got a second leg against Barcelona coming up. I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is Barcelona's out of here, lads. Get them out of here. Arrojo and the boys are gone. The bad news is this. There's another game against Napoli. We're not in the final. I, I lied. I may have I spoke up too fast too soon. Bro, how do you play Barca? Inter, Napoli, and Juve in the same weekend, bro. The same like two weeks, bro. Knock that off, EA Sports. Get this calendar out of my face. What, what, what are we saying about here, though? Do Barcelona is officially gone, lads? We gotta see who put the goals in, bro. I have to see. I, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this, but I have to see who did it. Mo Salah again? No, Mo Salah did not score a goal in any of the Barcelona games. He's still on eight. Rafael Leal did not score a goal. Yukaras, come on, lad. Yukaras hits the back of the net, bro, against Barcelona. There it is, my boy. Ten games, one goal is not good enough, if you ask me. Bernardo Silva got himself a goal as well. Who scored the goals, bro? Who the heck scored the who? Wait a minute. No, who's? I wonder who scored the goals. Maybe it was my. Maybe it was that boy Giroud. Maybe that boy Giroud came off the bench and nah, I don't, I don't know who scored. Honestly, lads, I don't know who scored the goals. It might have been Giroud. I don't know who scored the goals against Barcelona, but they're gone. They are officially lay out. No, I don't know who it was. I honestly don't know who paying the goals in. But hey, guys, listen. End of the day, doesn't matter. It is what it is. Going to be what it's going to be. The boys are on to the next round, and I think we were playing against RB. So I now want to say we weren't favorites against City. I don't know if we were favorites against Barcelona, but I want to say we're favorites against RB. Let me. Maybe I should say we're not favorites. That way we go through. Huh. I got really good news and I got really bad news. Uh, let's start off with the good news. The good news is we're into the cup final. We beat Napoli 2-0. The bad news is we lost to Juve and Inter. <laughs> but we also beat RB. So this was an awesome all-around month. Why? We're 13 points clear in the league. So we can take a couple L's here, okay? So the L against Inter and the L against Juve, we're not going to get demotivated because we knocked the Napoli out and we're into the final of the Coppa Italia. And then we also beat RB in the first game going 2-0 up. So the month month of, I would say, April is all around a fantastic April, even though we lost two City Out games. Going into May is where it gets a little bit crazy because we're playing Juve in the cup. We got RB in a second leg where I don't think they'll 3 nil us, so I think we should be in the final. And we probably got to win maybe one or two more games to actually win the league. I don't know how they still want to fire me. This is crazy. The league's over. No, it's not over. We have to win maybe one or two games. If we win one or two games, the league... 
Done. Dusted. GG's. No re. We move. We got a campeon. It's com but not there yet. Let's see how it goes. Talk to us and talk to us nicely. Talk to us and talk to us nicely. Because I'm telling y'all something right now, bro. I feel like I'm on top of the world. You need to give me a CEO job in real life football, bro. I'm feeling like I'm on top of the world right now. Champions League final. That's right, boys. We're here and we're facing Real Madrid. Real Madrid. We're facing Madrid. But more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about it. Our RB gave us a hard time, okay? They did beat us 3-2, but we advanced to the Champions League. We played Juve in that Copa d'Italia final, and we win that, okay? We win that. We take it. In the league, we did drop, but we never lost. We never lost in the league, which means we won the league, which means we 100% won. One second, bro. Let me not act like I'm the guy, and then I don't even win the league. One second. Hey, let's go. Eight points. Come on. Campeones, campeones. No somos campeones. They win the league they win Coppa Italia against Juve three to one love it bro the Super Cup went to Man City who we eliminated the Champions League Real Madrid versus Man City in the five versus Real, uh, Real Madrid in the final lads this is the thing I've done a lot of these takeovers and this is the game right here that the boys lose uh so I am un poquito nervous about this one because I I I, I get here all the time like all the time, all the time we get here and all the time we, we fall short. Um, and that low key does make me very, 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 very sad. Um, but this is what I do want to say. I think we got AC Milan back. They were in a Champions League final, okay, against Real Madrid. They won La Liga. Excuse me. They won the Serie A. They won the Copa Italia, that's two, and now they are playing for one more silverware. I truly believe we have done it. We have a red card to our defensive mid in the final. Um, let's do it, man. Let's see what happens. Let's see how this goes. This is it. This is the moment of truth. Should we watch it? I think we watch it. I'm so sad because I got to play a different defensive mid. Champions League final. This is it, man. This is it. This is this is what you did. This is what this is what dreams are made of. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mo Salah, you could ask the boys are here. But again, like I said to y'all, man, I personally am not happy because we're missing our defensive mid. And you guys know, like I know, defensive mid is one of the most important parts of a team. Like, bro, like there's no other way to look at it. It's one of the most important, important parts of a team of defensive mid. Theo Hernandez kicking it off. I can see that Rafael Leao, I mean, uh, uh, Eder Militao is there. Um, I can't see who their other center back is. Is that, do they have Trent? I don't think it is. Rafael Leao, make something happen, baby. Give it to Mosala. Give it to Mosala. Oh my goodness. We're, we're starting this game off nice, but the shot goes right to the defender. Jude Bellingham, Vinny, Valverde. Oh, this is dangerous. Look at that team. Vinny, to Rodrigo, 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 to Madrich, 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 Madrich. He has good defense. Clear, clear. Hey, get it forward, man. Dude, stop playing with the ball back there, bro. What are we doing, lads? Nah, what are we doing, bro? This is crazy. Stop that. Knock it off. They, I can confirm that Real Madrid bought Trent. Arnold plays for Nuno Mendes as well. They have Nuno Mendes and Trent. What is, they, they what? They bought Nuno Mendes for left back. And they bought Trent for right back. Real Madrid is trolling, bro. Real Madrid. Rodrigo. Shot. Big Mike. Come on, Mike. Good save. Yo, Real Madrid is trolling. I mean, yeah, that's crazy. Ancelotti, bro. You guys bought everybody. G, that's crazy. Please don't score. Please, no corner. No corner goal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Clear. Clear. Nice. We're about halfway through the first half. And nice, Yucaras. We haven't seen anything from Bernardo Silva. Oh, my God. Leo. Leo. He. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're hitting the gritty on Madrid, bro. We're hitting the gritty. Yo, did you just see what I just see? Yo, he just dogged him. Oh, barbecue chicken. Bang. Come on. Nah, that's crazy. That's so good, bro. Come on, Milan. Listen, I was going to say we haven't seen nothing from Mo Salah hasn't even touched the ball. And Bernardo Silva, nada, 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 nada to Bernardo Silva. Nada, nada. He hasn't done nothing, bro. Lad hasn't done nothing. But Rafael Leao, quiet this year's Champions League, except for right now. Blood was like, watch this, yo, Champions League final. Watch me cook. And he did. 
Nuno Mendes can't stop it. Ether Militao can't stop it. Let's make it to halftime without getting scored on, please, lads. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, 1-1. One, one. They allowed a kickoff, bro. You Are you joking, man? Real Madrid makes it 1-1 one, one off kickoff, bro. Leal did all of that work for nothing, bro. How What's this defense, y'all? Come on, man. Ah, uh, Bro. That makes me extreme. Rafael Leal did so much to give us the lead. And then just that, yo. Madrid just Madrid us, bro. Come on, man. Mo Salah time. Come on. Where's Mo? Back post. Mo, I need you. Nice pass. You got us. <laughs> I told y'all this was the guy. I told you guys. I said it. I told y'all he was him. I, yo, he looks like Shevchenko. Yo, I told you he was him. You can ask, I told you. Champions League final. He's back. He's here. He's cooking. He's beasting. Courtois, get down to the ground, son. What a play. Left butt cheeks. He puts the ball in. And then look at my boy, you can ask. Bang. Come on. Nah, that's unbelievable. That is unbelievable, yo. That right there was magical. We love it, bro. Ref, ref, ref. You want to blow the whistle? Ref, blow the whistle. Ref, blow the whistle. No, don't let them score for halftime. No, 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 no. Yes. yes. Halftime. All right. We, we, listen, we are the halfway champions. We, we are the champions of the Champions League at halftime. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyways, what a half. Rafael Leao, Yucaras, amazing. Bernardo Silva and Salah. I paid mucho money for y'all, bro. Time to step it up and get it going, bro. Please, lads, this is the biggest game of y'all's life. Start playing like it means something. Valverde! Hey, big Mike, keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. Let's go. Ref, blow the, uh, I was about to say blow the whistle for the game and it's 53rd minute. What are we doing, bro? What are you actually, are you trolling, bro? Come on, man. Hey, relax. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Relax. Ref, pen out, pen out. No, nothing, no red card. Add Militao. Rodrigo, Modric, 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 Modric shoots, good block. Come on, come on, come on, Daddy Theo, wake up, man. Get the ball, Theo. Rodrigo, dangerous, Valverde. Valverde, 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 Valverde. No, 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 This is so dangerous. So he's wide open, it's in. Vinny Jr. 60th minute, lads, it's 2 2. Ah, it's a good goal. It's a good goal. It's a good goal. Nothing to say but good goal. Left wide open, you know. 2-2, two, two, lads, 61st minute. Champions League final has been an absolute beautiful, beautiful, beautiful display of football from both teams. But unfortunately, I think Madrid might be, uh, they might got momentum now. Modric, wide open, nobody's covering. It's Valverde in the box. Goal. 3-2, lads. Ah, uh, Madea. Uh, Valverde, what a goal. Uh, yeah. I'm not really sure what to say, man. We got to go offensive now, man. We have to go attacking. See what we can do. See what the boys can pick up. But just not good enough, man. Uh, two, two easy goals, allowing them right through the middle of the park. Not good enough from AC Milan, man. Not good enough at all, man. Maybe the boys could find a goal. Here's Leao. Leao's in the box. Leao, 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 Leao. Leao. Oh, my God. It's 3-3. What a Champions League final, bro. What am I seeing? Rafael Leao. Rafael Leao. Evan Milita was going to get a red card, by the way. Ever Militao, look right here, right? It, it, I think right there. He was gonna slide and take out Leao if he didn't happen. Yo, it is 3-3. It is a beautiful Champions League final, bro. This is unbelievable. What a game, what a day. I'm glad to be a part of it. Someone defend this, please, Valverde! This is ridiculous, man. Valverde just scored a banger. 4-3, lads. He just scored a banger. We got to go all attack again, bro. Ah, oh, man. Ultra attacking, bro. There's not much time left. Ultra attacking. I feel bad for Rafael Leao. He's been fantastic. But the Champions League might go to Madrid again, lads. What a Champions League run. It's not over, man. Come on, boys. Let's go to work. That's going to be it, man. Real Madrid's going to take it. Wow, 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 wow. I feel heartbroken, but at the same time, I feel like we made history here today. Real Madrid, congratulations on another Champions League, man. Um, Nuno Mendes and, and, and dude, they got Saliba. Nuno Mendes, Saliba, and, and uh, Trent. This team has a lot of players. And look, man, we played our hearts out. I think that Rafael Leao was everything and more, but... We got AC Milan back to the top of European football. Unfortunately, we couldn't end it with the Cinderella story. 
the Champions League is starting to become something very hard to win uh, when we're doing these takeovers. But the boys went crazy, man. They really did, man. They 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 were winning twice in that game. They tied it at 3-3. Valverde had two amazing goals, and that is how the season's going to end. They won the Serie A. They won the Coppa Italia. And unfortunately, lads, they are going to lose the Champions League right at the end as well. But I think a lot of AC Milan fans would be very proud with what we built here. We built a monstrous team, and I only brought in Jokaras, a striker, and then two massive players in Salah and Bernardo Silva. Salah ghosted on us in that Champions League final, which is really sad. Bernardo Silva, Jokaras, Salah. What a takeover. What a dream team. What a dream season for AC Milan fans. But it ends at the hands of Real Madrid. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and let me know in the comments down below what team is next because, man, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Booyah. We out of here.